Hey everyone, today we're going to make a world in Alice. Alice is a program that allows you to make magical and beautiful 3D games and animations with very little work. Over the course of these videos, I'll show you how to make a world about a person who lives on an island who then gets attacked by a shark. So the first thing that we need to do is choose our background. We're going to choose the water background because this world is on an island. So just click water and then click open. Now we can see the main Alice interface. You might want to expand the viewer a little bit. That's this screen up here. It lets us see the world that we're going to be building. Right now, there's just open sea. Note these arrows right here. These move the camera, which we will talk about in the next video. You probably shouldn't touch these until we learn how to get the camera back to its original position. If you hit one on accident, you might get lost. If you do, just click undo up here. If you ever do anything wrong on accident, in fact, just remember to click undo. Or plus control and Z at the same time. Over here is the object tree. The object tree lists all of the objects in the world. Objects can have parts and they, you can interact with them in different ways. If you click on one, you can see its details, which are listed down here. All objects have properties, methods, and functions. We'll talk about those in turn later. Over here is the method editor, right next to that. This lets us tell objects what to do. And up here is the event editor, which lets us tell the program when to run the methods that we write down here. So the first thing that we're going to do with our world is save it. Just click File, Save World As, and then type the name of your program. I'll call mine Island. And now, since we just called it Island, we're going to add an island in by clicking Add Objects in the lower right-hand corner of our viewer. It's this green button right here. So click on that, and then you'll start seeing a whole bunch of different groups of items that you can add to your world. These can be uh, all sorts of different things, and you might want to take note of what's here in case you want to use it in future worlds. But the first one that we're going to look in is environments under E. It has a picture of that island, which we're going to use, and two other things. Click on that, then scroll over to the right until you see island. Now click on that and drag it into your world, and let go, and it will appear. Drag it so it's just out of the front of the frame. Now, we can use these positional buttons up here in the top right to move it around. This first one, which is already selected, allows us to move it freely around. The second one, which you should click now, allows you to move objects up and down. We'll lower our island into the water a little bit to make it look more realistic. The other buttons do different things. The third button lets you turn objects left and right, And then the other ones might mess up our island, so I'll just talk about them. The fourth one lets you move it forwards and backwards. The next one lets you tumble it all around. This one lets you resize it and make a really big island or a really teeny island. And the last one lets you copy it. That button doesn't work very well, so I recommend that you don't use it. Anyway, we're going to add a person into our world now. So click Local Gallery down here at the top of your object list, next to Environments, and then scroll over to where it says People. There will be a picture of four different people on it, one's riding a bike. Click on that. Now look through here and find the coolest person that you want to use in your world. Uh, there is an evil ninja, there's a zombie at the very end, and at the very end, you can use the He Builder or the She Builder to create your own person. You can adjust any aspects of their features to create them however you want. You can change their head, stomach, and legs, and you can use these buttons on top to change colors, hair color, and clothing. I'm just going to use, I press cancel, and I'm just going to scroll over to the random section, and I'm going to use random guy one but you should use whatever person you want. Now, I'm going to go up here, back to the positional buttons, 
And I'm going to click the second button so that I can move my man up to where he's just standing on top of the island. Now we're going to add in a robo so that our character can ride around. So once again, you're going to click Local Gallery down here next to where it says Home and People. Then you're going to scroll over to the right all the way until you see a tab called Vehicles. You're going to click on that, and then you're going to scroll to the right again. N take note of the vehicles here. You might want to use them in future worlds. There are planes, trains, and automobiles. And you can scroll over to where there's Robo. And you're going to want to, once again, click and drag that into your world over by where the island is. Now it's going to turn facing the island, but we kind of want it lined up with the shore. So you're going to click the third button up here in the positional buttons, turn objects left and right, and we're going to turn it so that it's aligned with the shore. Make sure that the oars are pointing backwards. And then you're going to click the second button, once again, move objects up and down, to lower it into the water. Try to set up the scene like this. When you're finished, click Done here in the lower right-hand corner. Now our, that our scene's all set up, we can press Play in the upper left. This will let us see our scene in more detail. We can pull on the corner to make the scene larger. And you can, might notice these buttons at the top, which let you adjust the speed of your world, or Play, Restart, Stop. Right now, since our world doesn't actually do anything, we're just going to hit stop. In the next video, we're going to learn about the camera so that we can make multiple scenes. And then after that, we'll start to make events happen in our world. But for now, just go up to File in the upper left, then go to Save World.